You'll often see people online talking about cameras and lenses and how they're not very filmic, or if you want something that looks filmic, you need these lenses or this particular camera because of the way it renders color or the way the skin tones look or how the lens shapes the light and what that all looks like. And that's how you get something to look filmic. And I got to say, that is an absolute myth. When you look at all the films that have been made over the years and Almost all of them, I think we'd say, look filmic. You know, if we're talking about Hollywood movies, we're talking about different cameras, different formats, whether it's film, whether it's Super 16, Super 35, digital, you know, Super 35, stuff that's shot, been shot full frame, Vista Vision, all these different cameras, all these different formats, and then all the different lenses that have been used in Hollywood on feature films. That is not where things are breaking down. Where things are breaking down are in other decisions like lighting, color, set design, wardrobe, makeup, actors, sound. All the other things that go into a movie and making a movie what it is is what's going to give you that filmic look or feel. And I know that's really frustrating for people to hear because they want to be able to like go buy a camera that's going to make their stuff look like a, a movie and you just can't do it. It's not that easy. There are cameras that maybe make it a little bit easier and there are lenses that might lend themselves to being a little bit more filmic than other things. But anytime you hear someone say, oh, you got to shoot with this lens or you got to shoot with this camera to make your stuff look filmic, turn and run away because they don't know what they're talking about. If you take something that's well shot, well lit, well directed, well edited, well acted, well-designed, all the other things. If you take all those and you take it with something that was shot on, you know, a $1,000 camera or a $2,000 camera with lenses, you know, like a $500 lens or a $1,000 lens, you can make it look filmic. And unless people know what you shot it on, they're likely not going to think twice about whether it looks filmic or not. They're just something that's going to resonate internally with them. It's a subtle, more subconscious feeling. And it's not at the forefront of people's minds where they're going to say, oh, I know exactly what this was shot on. I can tell by the way that image looks that this was shot on this camera with these lenses and this particular setup. There's, there's no way. No one can do that. You might be able to take a good guess as to what they shot it with, but there's no way you could pinpoint exactly what was shot with what. That's why half the time people online are asking like, hey, what was this movie shot with? What lenses did they use? They're asking because they don't know because they can't tell. And someone's going to tell them, oh, it was this camera and these lenses. And people think that, oh, well, if I shoot with that camera and those lenses, it's going to look the same. And they're ignoring all the 95% of the other stuff that went into that film, making that movie what it was. And they're giving credit to the camera and the lens. So just don't do that. You know, Stay away from any kind of thinking like that. You pick the camera that makes the most sense in terms of price. Buy something that you can afford. Rent something if you really want it. Same thing with lenses. Buy what you can afford. Rent what you can't. And make something awesome and put that money into stuff like actors, locations, lighting, audio, all the other things that you need to actually make something filmic.